how much turning is how much angle a lot of students ask me now the grammar of the question is not right but the question they're really asking is i know what turning means but how do i tell exactly how to turn i'll give you an example you're facing that way happily i want i say to you turn left what will you do you turn like that right that's what most people will do if i ask you to turn left they will turn left right now how much did you really turn in math we like to put numbers to things so that you can be precise the number in this case is 90 degrees so you turned 90 degrees why 90 just like that okay some number we picked it's a much deeper answer to why 90 why not something else we can answer that later but it's a great question so we let's say we call this 90 we agree that this is 90 right 90 degrees what is this degrees uh if i ask you to walk 10 steps it will be like hey 10 steps 20 steps is twice that 30 steps is three times that one step is little bit that's in the when you're moving but when you're turning the step for turning we call it a degree one step of turning is called 1 degree two step is 2 degree three step is 3 degree so all the way here is called you've turned 90 degrees now if i ask you turn left once again you'll do once again how much have you turned now that's right 180 degrees because two times 90 now I ask you to turn once again that's 270 once again that is four times 90 which is 360 right now you might have heard of this 360 degree turn somewhere right like in cars you go and do a 360 degree drift or like in in a in a like games where i play like this mma games where you can go to a 360 degree spinning heel kick or something like that so the word 360 degrees must be familiar to you that's coming full circle you come a full circle that's called a 360 degree turn you're back to where you started but you fin- finished a full circle now comes the interesting question what if i want you to turn left but not an entire 90 degree left i want you to turn a little bit just a little bit how do i tell that to you i'm saying ha um, turn half no how do i say that how do we say it precisely what is that angle going to be in numbers that's right that's 90 by 2 45 degrees Now take that 45 degree and notice it. It's a sharp, pokey angle. It's a tiny angle. It's an angle smaller than 90. What if I want to take that 90 degrees? Imagine it's a pizza, right? The entire thing is a pizza. That's 360 degrees. 90 is one fourth. Then what if I want to say one third of that? You just turn just one third. How much will that be? That's right, 30 degrees because it's 90 by three. Even sharper, right? These kind of 30, 45. I can show you one more example. More than forty-five, less than ninety. A common angle is sixty degrees. That's two thirds. Like you took that pizza, one fourth of that pizza, and divided it into three pieces, but then took two of them together. That's sixty degrees. These are very common angles you'll keep using. So it's good to know how they look like. Look at thirty, very sharp. Forty-five, little less sharp. Sixty, even less sharp. Yeah. And these are all called acute angles. The sharp angles that are less than ninety. I want you to turn, but not ninety fully. What else can I tell you? What if I want you to turn? He turn left more, more than ninety. How do I tell you that? But because if I ask you to just turn left, you will turn ninety. How do I ask you? What if I want you to turn this much? What angle would this be? Take a guess. That's right. It has to be above ninety, right? Any option that was there below ninety is not the right answer because at least ninety you should turn. Now let's look at that gap. that looks like one of those acute angles we spoke about 30 if you put it there it matches so it's 90 and 30 together 90 plus 30 which is 120 degrees so main observation i want you to make is the moment you're turning more than that 90 right till all the way there all the angles will be above 90 these are called obtuse angles so that's 120 it's a pretty popular angle Say if I turn a little bit more, let's say 150. It's not so popular as 120. You'll most probably be using 120 a lot. Now with this, you now know what acute angles are, what obtuse angles are, and you have a sense of what these common angles look like: 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90, 120. Familiar with them? Now notice that it doesn't have to always start horizontally and turn. The angles look like that, but what if you start there and you have to turn all the way here? Now for that, what's the angle you should turn? Is it some 120? No, right? Because you're starting only here. Notice that it's still sharp, which means it's less than 90. In this case, this is just 60. You're going from 60 till 120, so the gap is just 60. So the summary is basically that there are angles which are less than 90. Popular ones you can see on the screen right now. They can be oriented however you want, and there are angles that are 
above 90 as well and below 180 obtuse angles and they look like these the popular ones say 120 you can see that and whenever you're trying to turn make sure that you have a picture of the angle and then make a guess about the degrees of it so that you can use it correctly.